Good morning, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Luis Cryptolu here, nickname. Uh, to this morning, I was uh, touched some uh, basis on orvestock.com, which is uh, I want to bring some like some uh, the points that I was bring talking before. Uh, people speculate on Amazon be a you know be able to accept the cryptocurrency and uh, on Amazon or the stock it's already due as you can see here I was just uh, play around pick something for uh, buying like $26 and so they have a lot of options here as you can see so they have the credit card overstock car the PayPal Bitcoin and others, as you can see, you have Ethereum Dash, Nan, Litecoin, Monero. Um, so saying that the stock from uh, Overstock was, I put it three months ago, it was down from, uh, I put it here because okay, so pretty much follow the. Uh, cryptocurrency market with this like low over here they start accepting uh, Bitcoin and in, in other coins and then it goes up October hit a, a, a kind of all-time high in November drop again kind of follow the cryptocurrency December went up the 75 and then uh, at the beginning of the year pretty much at the same point that all the coins hit at a, a high went up to 86 and then right now it's falling like the cryptocurrency $48 so let me show you again one more time Bitcoin and others with the Ethereum Dash, Nan, Litecoin and Monero and the PayPal also so pretty much follow but why Amazon is gonna follow I don't think Amazon is gonna follow um, cryptocurrency as a form of payment because right now as you can see it's very health stock with uh, 1591 of course Amazon has more to offer than overstock overstock is just like a basically uh, <clears throat> a basically um, like um, Furniture, rugs, you know, decor, stuff like that. Uh, and Amazon is much more than just uh, stocks. You know, have much, a lot of service, a lot of going on. So they had the movies, the music, and everything. They cover a whole lot. I don't think uh, near in the near future, because uh, the fluctuation of the cryptocurrency right now. And if you relate it with the cryptocurrency, normally what's that's what happened. You know, the stock just kind of follow the cryptocurrency. It's kind of sick, but you know that's the way it goes. All right, just cover that because I was talking uh, yesterday. I posted a video and I talk about Coinbase website being changed. And looks like I don't know what happened. They went back to the old site, like as you can see it. They have this. The only thing that I see they can add it for the new site was this because they didn't have the Coinbase com Commerce. I uh, just added for the kind of old, old, you know, this one also. I don't even know if this was here, but I don't think so. This uh, Coinbase products. Um, and here are the products in the top. Do you remember if you saw the video, if you watched the video from yesterday, uh, the before yesterday, maybe. It was like change over here, so I don't know what's happening. Hopefully, um, uh, it was nothing like like a virus or anything like that. All right, so here we have the price for today. <laughs> we have a cup of in the blood stream still. Uh, actually, today is the 15 March, 8:39 a.m. We have Ethereum dropping six uh, percent. Uh, the low was $550 and the high was six, 664. Now it's trade at 606. Uh, another dip here, 24 hours. So let me see. This 24 hours. Let's see, six hours. 
kind of you know the line this line over here go up you know now it's, it started going back again down here normally i keep this as um the bitcoin price which gain a little bit now it's a ten dollars gain eight thousand two hundred Let's take a look at uh, Litecoin. Litecoin's kind of try to get a momentum right now. One hundred sixty dollars, sixty-five. It's kind of battle in that price. And um, XRP uh, Ripple, we have um, about seventy cents. Kind of side trade, like I show you guys before. In the weekly month, it's slightly down, but now try to gain back again uh, for the month. As you can see, it's like it, it going down a little bit, then pick it up, and then going down, drop here, and then volume is very health volume in a on the market. Now, stick a uh, Binance, which is I always keep in this one Mana from Ethereum, uh, Decentraland. Uh, they started to post a lot of new things out there, so we see how it's going to be improvement. Ethereum Classic, all the projects started coming out. Um, even it dropping the price to $17, which is always mentioned the price. It was average around the uh, 20s, low to high 20s. Never mm, kept the more like in this type of range for price. Now it's dropping out to $17. And I was showing you guys the stock from Amazon and uh, other companies. So let's take a look at Twitter this morning. Uh, let's talk Ethereum Classic. Ethereum Classic. Um, let's see. I was playing yesterday a video that I was uh, talking about this uh, Coin Telegraph and Coin Desk and why they keep it safe. Keep it spread so many bad things about uh, cryptocurrency. These bills could be a disaster for crypto sex singers. I mean, why they keep, you know, if they, they if they able to destroy news, uh, send some news, they're going to be destroyed the cryptocurrency. What are they going to do later? Because what are they going to be talking to or with or about it? Nothing because <laughs> they, uh, they destroy the cryptocurrency. Which I don't think is going to happen anytime soon. Hopefully never, because this is the future. It'll go come to stay, go forever. Like I say in my first very video, even uh, John McPhee agreed with me that um, it's come to stay. You don't go nowhere, go up. Of course, right now so much talking and so much going on around the. Regulation, not regulation, centralized, decentralized. So people get crazy about it. They try to, um, <clears throat> like push on it, those things. And, in a one more, I was just got, you know, they, they try to go like, why is this market? It's so, uh, crazy. Let me give you this point of view for myself. Okay. That's the thing. So people realized last year that we were able to make quick cash with just a very small, small investment. And now uh, by the end of the year, last year, people that is already a millionaire because if they believe on this before 17, like 15, 16, or, you know, even previous, like 2009 or 8, I'm sorry, yeah, 2010, 11. So they bought so many bitcoins and the bitcoin went up to twenty thousand dollars so you did the, you did the math the people got billionaires if not uh, at least a millionaire so from this point on um they are smart because they knew somehow they spread the news and and people bought it and, and it's like People like myself that I'm very into technology and some other guys, you know, maybe half of population of Earth believe in this and went to a hyper, which is they talking about it. They bought it and some people was able to, you know, get the lifetime savings. Some other people just lost everything. 
So, and some other people's in the, in the middle. Didn't get the life save and didn't lost anything, but still like battle to see if you can get, you know, a lifetime savings on this. Um, with no experience, many, many people get in, which is kind of difficult for realize any uh, pattern in this market because we have so much people that, first of all, uh, try to explain something that they know they don't know. Even the Ripple, uh, Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse was spoken to say why you need to know the fundamentals of uh, email because you don't know. And so why you want to explain to a regular folk what how this working technology is going to be difficult because if you're not into even if the guy like uh, Charlie Lee of Italian tried to explain to me how this work, I'm not going to be able to understand uh blockchain all that so saying that i mean it's just a speculation for buy and sell picking the big or the better uh coin here altcoin bitcoin whatever so guys just understand that this is playing as a game pretty much like stock market is a game and everything is based on speculation so uh just be smart, don't be panic. And like I keep saying, and I see over here, uh, many people is like selling the coins for if you get in, uh, hurt this guy, he get in, uh, when the Ethereum was $1,300. Even he, even he knows when a $300, it could be a potation, but I, I read some news on the Ethereum was $300 that the new, the news, on a Google card, say that the Ethereum go up to a thousand, past maybe thousand dollar, maybe past thousand dollars, and then they're gonna have a, mass, a massive drop to six hundred because people that bought a three hundred and sold a thousand, so he profit seven hundred dollars. So they're not gonna, they might not gonna go into at six hundred right now. They're probably gonna wait to see where it goes, but. This drop dramatic from beginning of the year, Chinese uh, New Year's and Mugas. I think the Mugas is the most effective one that actually dropping the price at the moment because they they say they have four one point five billion dollars in Bitcoin. Okay, but what is Bitcoin related with the all? Uh, they are paired with the other coins, so they pair with the XRP, they pair with Ethereum, they pair. With Monero, the pair with Litecoin. So if you have Litecoin and you want to purchase Bitcoin, of course you're gonna sell your your Litecoin to buy Bitcoin. You know, so that's the reason the price from Litecoin drops related with the drops from Bitcoin because you're selling the the same proportion that you the Bitcoin go down because so much going on on the market. Every other coin go down because if I have Ethereum, okay, if I purchase uh, 10 Ethereum at $200, and then now it's 600 so, and then the Bitcoin was 20 now it's 8 So if I want to buy like a Bitcoin, say if I have like $8,000 in Ethereum, and I'm going to buy one Bitcoin, so I'm going to sell all my Ethereums, which is the price going to be driving because, you know, I'm going to flush in the market. To buy that Bitcoin was dropped to eight thousand dollars. I think it makes sense if you look this way. Pretty much, um, that's the reason that I can see it. Why all the coins dropping with Bitcoin dropping? Because if you have enough coins that I can buy Bitcoin, and it's speculated that the price is dropping because something. And eventually go up again because uh, this is going to stop some time, you know. So I'm going to make a profit. And normally the profit in Bitcoin is bigger than any other coin. The profit and the loss. Because you see here you lost since yesterday. If you bought a Bitcoin yesterday, 
he lost five hundred dollars in one coin, which is seventy four Bitcoin Cash, forty seven Ethereum, and two dollars in Litecoin. It's kind of proportional with the price from the coin, but also it's kind of like a stupidity if you have uh to sell fifty Litecoins. To buy one Bitcoin, say perhaps, and he lost 500 here. And if you sold 50 uh, Bitcoins, you lost only a hundred dollars. So that is the problem that I'm looking at it, and I can see it. That the only reason, you know, that's the only reason. I mean, it's no reason that uh, the Litecoin drop and the Ethereum. And XRP and Mana and Ethereum Classic dropping with the drop from Bitcoin. If you're not that, just tell me wrong. That tell me that I'm wrong. Tell me that I'm talking just nonsense. Because why people selling Ethereum and not buying Ethereum uh, at the point that Bitcoin was dropping? You know, it's not. Uh, you know, I don't see it because they're not even related. And then Bitcoin Cash and Litecoin, I can see it. The dropping with the Bitcoin uh, uh, dropping, but Ethereum dropping from what? I mean, it's, other than the news that I posted a video in the past saying that it going from 300 to 1,000, when it reaches 1,000, people are going to sell it. It dropped to $600 level and eventually go up to 750 which is right now it's taking forever to go 750. But um, if you're not that, I mean, why Ethereum is dropping this much? You know, $200 in a month. So pretty much like we have to still a gain of a thousand percent for one year of $500. So which is they say uh, one year ago, the price was about $40, which is I have some that I get in at this month. At, that much, but not as not a, as much that I could get in because I was so stupid. So that's the that's pretty much the news, guys. Um, that's was what, what talking about here. But the Ethereum was around three hundred dollars. The people bought over here three hundred. So then they go up to a thousand by the end of the year, like January the first, the first week of January the fourteen went up to um. 1329 and then boom they started selling 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 sell 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 and now it's back over here at uh, 600 dollars so still a big profit big going and Italian I think has so much to to improvement here and Vitaline needs to I mean, the problem about Vitalin is this. He's in love with the technology. I don't want to say the word nerd. But he loves the project. He don't love to see people make money. So he actually, he was posting something on Twitter that he was mad about it. Because people just thought, just worried about the making cash. Instead, looking for the technology. What can I say, man? Sorry. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please subscribe and see you next time. This is Luis finish from today. See you. Bye.